Good afternoon, my fellow FPV enthusiasts. This is Zoltan from New Generation Hobbies, and I am at Humber Valley today to do a Parrot Disco Waypoint Navigation test flight. After about a week or more of uh, dark skies, finally today we got blue skies, and I am just about to attempt to fly the parrot behind me there and uh, do a waypoint navigation now this is going to be the third flight of this parrot so there is the parrot you can see that there is uh, my ground station setup which stands off a tablet and uh, some kind of a I don't know the remote control of this thing let me just turn my camera around if I can do that here and to show you that I set up a flight plan and you can probably see the flight plan there that's what's going to be executed with the takeoff and at the linear landing at the end the whole flight is going to take about i don't know five, five six seven minutes or so and uh, if i go there let me see test it doesn't tell me how long is it gonna stay in the air but if i go and do the edit of that it should anyway it doesn't tell me but that's what we gotta do so we are then I'll give the phone to Daniel now. There is my uh, Padawan and he is my operator. I'll put on my glasses. We'll go, we'll launch the parrot and uh, we'll see what it comes back with. So let's move. There is no beam. It's finally a beautiful day. I haven't had such a beautiful day in Toronto in like more than a week. Start button. Let me see everything looks properly plugged in. Um, bring the camera a bit. Put the start button and launch the camera. There you go. And goes and flies. And it's gonna go up to about 20 meters. And it's gonna loiter at 20 meters. What this means is it's gonna do circles. Right? Till I uh, tell it to do something. That's too close. <laughs> <laughs> too close to me. Anyway. So coming back to my remote control here. I will not yet execute this plan. Let's just go back and watch what's happening there for a second. So it's flying on its own. And the altitude is actually 45 meters. We have a 12 meter per second speed. Um, our battery is 84%, I think. We are recording on 720p. And what I'm going to attempt now, then we are straight there, is to push it up a little bit higher, go up a bit higher. There you go and do a turn there all right so wherever it is right now if i push the yaw left or right it's gonna start loitering in that position right so if i push the yaw to the right it's gonna do a clockwise circle and it's gonna loiter in that position if I push the yaw left, then it's gonna do a loiter to the left. Now let me just go straight here, that, and then do a loiter to the left. Okay, so as you can see on the image, it does do the loiter to the left at the moment, all right? So I'm pretty close to where we're supposed to be. Let me go to the flight plan, and let's push the play. It said that it's sending the flight plan. And at this point, I'm really wondering if it's going to do that. So the first, yeah, it looks like it's doing that. So it's going and actually coming back, I think, to the launch point now. I 
and it is at 30 meters it's supposed to go west at 30 meters altitude and it did come down to about 30 meters and it's going west now it's gonna hit the first waypoint in a minute there you go and it's supposed to turn and I can see it it's turning to north and it's flying north at 30 meters altitude it's gonna hit the second waypoint okay and it's going at 30 meters altitude I hope there is nothing in the way uh, it's climbing up a little bit now right no I think we are we are good higher than everything at 30 meters there yeah, I hope <laughs> There's uh, people on the field now. Yeah, people they are on the road, so they don't bother me. We are at 30 meters altitude, going to the next waypoint. There, it's going to turn now. It is just above the trees. And it's this turning now. I can see a beautiful turn there. I will tilt the camera just a tiny bit further down so we can see the ground on the video. This is coming, it's coming towards us and it's climbing up now to 50, 50 meters altitude. I can hear it that it's throttling up. It's going up, it's actually it shows 70 meters on my um, screen here, 83 meters. Yeah, it's going up to about 90 meters altitude now. I'm just tilting the camera a little bit left, uh, down and up to see what is it doing. It's going out. Now it's reaching the waypoint and it's turning. And it does that. And in the meantime, we can come back here, Daniel, and we can see the video which is being fed to us from the drone, right? So it's doing a waypoint. It's going to reach the railroad. At that point, it will turn towards the uh, exactly you see it's reaching the railroad it's coming back and it's turning there you go that is a perfect way to actually go and try to find uh, airplanes downed airplanes in this area you see because it's such a slow flyer you can actually try to go and find the airplanes so let me tilt the camera a bit further up there so we can see in the far we are going against the sun so camera is not that good let's go further down and see the ground a bit better by the way on my last uh, video I wasn't happy with the video quality coming back from this drone not actually the coming back is the recording quality which I was not happy about so I uh, had to take apart the camera and uh, change a little bit on the lens position kind of try to refocus it Okay, so last flight, we kind of lost the video there. And it is breaking apart again, but the drone is coming back, so it did do the turn. And it will come back, turn again. Yeah, it will come back. A little bit south of the field. And we are at climbing to 150 meters, if I'm not mistaken now. Yeah, we are climbing to 150 meters. And it did indeed climb. The beauty of this drone is that it's so quiet that you will not notice it passing above your head. Um, come on this image please for a second so we can see the curves of the Humber Valley there you see it's gonna go just a bit above the Humber Valley and it's gonna turn and it actually 
and it will turn to the um, west now. All right. I think it would be really hard to fly with this image uh, on the goggles because it's breaking up a lot. So I don't think that that uh, actually would be good for FPVing. Do we still have any watchers there? No, not too many people. Okay, maybe somebody is watching. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go back to uh, the flight plan again. Okay, so this is the 150 meter altitude uh, circle here, circuit here. And after this, this we're gonna drop down to 70 meters and we are going to um, do a landing. So our drone battery is still 79%. Speed is about 12 meters per second. We are at 150 meters altitude. And uh, just reaching, oh, there is a bird there. I thought it was my drone this low. <laughs> okay, so turning again. Ten meters per, per per second, 150 meters altitude, and now I think it's supposed to come down and drop down to about uh, no, still 150 meters on this run till the end. It's just above us. Let's see if we turn the camera all the way down. Actually, there is the nose of the drone, okay. so I don't want to go that that down like that. You see. It's a beautiful ground image. Okay, so we are reaching our last 150 meters uh, point. And after this, it's gonna turn around and uh, it's gonna turn and gonna go down to like 70 meters. Yeah, I think we are coming down. Yeah, really aggressively as a matter of fact. It does do a loiter there. Why does it do a loiter? Go back. Maybe it didn't manage to reach the point where it's supposed to have been going. Where are you? There are you, okay. So 70 meters. And it is coming around 70 meters. Next waypoint is gonna be there soon. We're gonna do a loiter around that point as well to reach about 70 meters. Hmm, interesting. There you go. Okay. So it's going further. And at the end of this turn, it's gonna drop down to 50 meters and it's going to attempt a landing, hopefully. The landing hopefully is going to be smooth. So I'm going to watch that. I'm going to hit, keep my finger on the stick here. If I need to actually adjust it or abort the landing, then I can take it over. You can film the, see if you can film the dome there, Daniel. Yeah. the landing altitude of 50 meters and we are at 48 currently okay and it's coming down there it is there it is
Okay. So it overshot the landing with like three meters, which I think it's pretty good. <laughs> For something like this, which landed on its own, overshot the landing three meters. Thank you guys for watching. I will download this video, bring it again together with the other video and post it on YouTube.